Hi, my name is Chris Thomas. Welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to create word clouds. A word cloud is basically an image which shows different words and different shapes and sizes. The words are different sizes depending upon how important they are within a particular piece of text. So here's three examples that I'm showing you on your screen. We're going to be using a website called wordle.net to do this. It's really easy to use and it's completely free, which makes it even better. So I'm going to start by going to wordle.net and I'm going to click on create your own. When that pops up, it's asking me to paste in a whole bunch of text. Now I've got some text saved on my desktop. I've got the on the ning nang nong poem, which I'm going to use. So I'm going to select all of my text. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go back to Wordle and paste that in. And to do that, I'm going to right click and choose paste. Then it's as simple as just clicking on go. Now the Wordle service uses Java to do this. So if you haven't got Java installed, you will need to download it and install it. But again, that is a free plugin. So here's my Wordle word cloud. Now I don't particularly like this one. So I'm going to click on randomize just here, just to create a few different ones until I'm happy with what it's produced. Now if you find that you can't find anything exactly how you'd like it, then just above the Wordle image you've got some options here to change the formatting and the layout yourself. So for example under the colour menu I could choose bolder colours perhaps. Under layout I could choose to have them half and half, so half the words are horizontal, half are vertical. Or I could choose any which way where it just completely jumbles up my words. So there's one example of a Wordle word cloud from the Ning Nang Nong poem. Let me show you another example of where you might like to use this. I've got here a bank of electricity words that I'm using in science. Now you'll notice at the top I've got the word electricity three times. That's because I want to give that word greater priority in my word or word cloud. So I'm going to select all of my text and copy it and then go back to Wordle. I'm going to right click and paste and then click on go. And you can see now in the word or uh, word cloud that it's created, the word electricity has far greater priority. Again, clicking on randomize will show me a few different word or images that I could use. There we go. Okay, let me show you one final example. So I'm going to go back to create. And this time I'm going to use a web page all about earthquakes. Now there's a lot of text on this web page, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to select the whole page and then copy it. I'm going to paste the entire web page into this text box here. And then I'm going to let Wordle find all the important words. And you'll notice that the word earthquake, earthquakes, scientists, waves are all a lot bigger than the other words because they have occurred a lot more often. Now I've actually got a few too many words on this Wordle poster. So again, I can reduce the number of words by going to layout menu. And from here, if I click on maximum words, I can enter a number of my choice. So I'm going to actually type in maybe 30 words. And what that's going to do is it's going to pick the 30 most important words in that particular piece of text. I'm going to click on randomize a few times. I quite like that one there. So that's how we can actually take a web page and create a poster from it. Now, once we've got our posters, we can do a number of things. We can print this onto paper, obviously, but what people generally like to do is actually to save it to their desktop. And that's not the easiest thing to do, unfortunately. The icon here to save to public gallery, what that will do is that will save your Word or Word cloud onto the wordle.net web page so that other people could look at it on the website. But you probably want to be able to download this and incorporate it into Word or your interactive whiteboard software. Now the easiest way of doing that is actually to take a photograph of your screen and we do that by using the control print screen option and that will basically take a screen capture. So I'm going to press control and print screen. What that's done is it's taken a photograph of my screen and copied that image into my computer memory. So now if I go to paint.net or some sort of graphics program I can paste that image and cut out the bits and pieces that I want. Now I obviously only want the word or word cloud, so I'm going to select that with my selection tool and then I'm going to go to image, crop to selection. And what that's done is it's deleted everything that I didn't want, leaving me just my word or word cloud. And from here, I'll be able to save it as a JPEG or a PNG file, something that is useful to use. Okay, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Thanks very much for watching.